Welcome to Guys Talk Knives Live, episode something. 49. What was that? Yes. Episode 49. 49. We are live on Facebook, live on YouTube. YouTube. Hopefully we will not have that Max Headroom thing going on this week. I hope we do. I enjoy it. It was uh, bad. I don't know. Thank you, Glomer. I don't know. We're just killing some time. It's been a rough week. (laughs) It's been a busy week. It's been a crazy week. Yes. Trying to get all the little special things planned that we're trying to plan out. Oh, I can't wait. It's going to be fun. Two weeks, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks till what, Jason? National Knife Day. That's right. August 24th. The high Saturday. holiday of all knife enthusiasts everywhere. Can I just say that it's been nice that we have over five grand worth of giveaways already? Over five grand. It's because we have a fantastic purchasing department that has dug in and helped out and we deal with some of the best companies on the face of the planet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I did not stutter. It is not just a little over a grand. It is no, just, over just, yeah. five grand worth of giveaways, and then there's other sales and craziness that are going to happen <laughs> on yes, Saturday, is. August 24th. So if you haven't tuned in to see that, you need to. Mark your calendars. <laughs> make sure. If, you're, if you are somewhere near us. I knew that was going to happen. What'd you do? I didn't do anything. It just didn't come out of the... Oh. I didn't get on my business That's lined funny. up. Didn't you get said up. to me, okay, so prior to the show, everybody said, left the room and said, get the loose, loose knives. knives. Yes. It These was not are the loose. loosest of the knives. Right. And I forgot that. You one. gotta watch them, they get around. They do. <laughs> but uh if you're if you're planning a trip to the Smokies, if you're gonna be somewhere around us, then uh you you need to be here on the twenty fourth. Yes. The three of us will be here yes. all day. Melina will be here. Yes. Jared will be Jared here. Jared will be here. Yeah. John will be here. You may here. not see Jared, but Jared will be here. <laughs> you, it's hard to miss Jared if you see him. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. Tramp stamp. <sighs> Reverse rise. mullet. Reverse mullet. Blue Low tips. rise jeans every time. Every though, time. Though he had on some mom jean shorts the other day. Jorts. Some jorts. I saw those. Yeah. They were great. It's very interesting. Kind but, of a Kevin Smith look. Yeah, but he I had that—he uh, had that Tom Hardy um, print on the side of it, which was gorgeous. Well, those were his boxers. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they were showing through. <laughs> we got some business to take care. Welcome to the show. Uh, let's jump in with this because I got Hit quite it. a bit of this. Other than that's National Night Day, we got we got some other stuff. Woo-ha! Winner of Lady Bird, that Spyderco Raven Two from Lady Bird, Bird. It was George Harris, which made Paul McCartney angry. <laughs> no. George Harris did win the Spyderco Bird Raven 2 that we gave away last week. You'll stay tuned this whole episode because we'll pick something and give it away as oh, well. Of um, big news is that tomorrow there's this old bear <laughs> and he turns 75 years old. Yes, he does. Year old. Smokey the Smokey Aww. Bear. Yeah, Smokey it's, Bear. I'm so used to saying Smokey the Bear. It is Smokey Bear. He doesn't like his middle name. No, he doesn't. They have eliminated that in the future. It is he's turned 75 tomorrow. So we're Aww. doing some special stuff right here in the showroom. Yes, indeed. And it's actually kind of cool. Uh, we've got all the Victorinox uh, Smokey Bear uh, commemorative knives yep. that'll be out. There's going to be a giveaway for you to be able to win this framed, really cool set of all those Smokey Bear Victorinox. So get entered in the giveaway. You have to do that here in the showroom. Uh, That's tomorrow. Uh, The cool thing is we got crayons. There you go, Swags. Hold the crayons. For the kids, we got activity books, pencil, and a ruler. So if you're in the store tomorrow, go by the Victorinox counter. Get this for your kids. They can have fun with it. It's, no it's the real deal Aww. Smokey Bear activity book yes, that indeed. they can color in. They'll get a pack of crayons. They'll get a ruler. We've got all different wow. colors in the rulers. We will not allow them to beat each other with the rulers, but yeah. that'll be there. Well, this is flimsy enough to can. I was just checking. And then we've got this incredibly awesome. Look at this. Brand new Tinker from Victor Knox. Go camera two. There you go. Whoa, there, there it is. There we are. Oh, that is so So that's cool. the front side, 75th birthday on that, on this tinker. And on the back, there's Smokey himself. <laughs> this thing turned out great. It is a tinker, so it's got all the great little tools in it. You've got... I love... A spear point. I love the, the how good Victorinox is to us. 
Oh, yeah. As a company. Because we were like, hey, let's do this. Because all of those Smoky Bear knives are exclusives to us. And so you got all that on that side. You've got, on the Tinker, you've got a screwdriver on the other side. Of course, you've got your tweezers and your toothpick. <clears throat> this is just a great knife. We have a very so limited cute. number of these. Yes. They will go quickly tomorrow. Yes. Yes, but they'll be available in the showroom tomorrow. The back is yep. kind of awesome as well. I'm just yeah, really fantastic. Like it. It's nice. Yeah, it's great. nice. It's nice. It's nice. Come join us to celebrate Smokey Bear's 75th anniversary. Yes, indeed. It is happy birthday to that old bear. Only you can prevent wildfires. Well, and he's I even used the noon tagline. Did you hear that? He's been preventing wildfires for 75 years. Yes, he has. As an icon, and that certainly has helped get the word out that, you know, be careful when you're out wherever. Yeah, playing with fire. So, oh, yeah. speaking of playing with fire, we have the SMKW exclusive SOG Valkyrie. It oh. is up on the website right now. Yes, they are. They come in a set of three oh, for 40 wow. bucks. Way cool. They come with this handy dandy belt sheath that you can just strap on and tote your throwing Valkyrie throwing axes Lord. around. Yeah, they're nice. Here, you can hang on to that if you want to. Let me tell you about it. Uh, each axe is 10.7 inches overall, uh, and they draw their inspiration. This bearded axe is like what the Vikings used. Yeah, yeah so that's kind of cool. That's where it gets its name as well. It's 3CR 13 MOV stainless steel, uh, solid construction all the way. It's got the, uh, that SOG black hard cased uh, uh, covering on the whole thing, so it's not going to get damaged. Um, it's going to protect that blade just a little bit. The blade is 2.5 inches, uh, and the handle is paracord wrapped. Ooh, is each one of those weighs about 9.5 ounces. And they do come with that handy dandy ballistic nylon belt sheath that holds all three yep. at the same time, like so, on your belt. You, you can just beat your leg to death and go throw at some things. Yes, you can. You uh, something I can cut? It's sharp. I want to test it. Uh, Jason's right there. No. Let me see paper. You can't the have paper. You cannot have paper. We're not going to do that. We ain't going to do it. We're going to do some throwing videos, though. We are. We are going to try to try to go to one of those ranges. Yeah, we are. And do that. So that should be fun. See if that really works and sticks. That's available on the website right now for pre-order. They'll be in soon. Yep. Very, very soon. The other thing, you guys keep asking us about these. About this. Not about that. Nope, not this one. This Jeez. one or this one. Right now, we've got a special going on. If you're ordering more than $100 worth of stuff, $100 or more, yep. you get the free navy and white. Plus free SMKW cap. Plus free, free pro priority mail. Pri priority mail. Priority. You can do it. Priority really look at them and tell them what shipping. it is. Free priority mail shipping. Yes. Oh, I was right. It's mail. Yes. Free priority mail shipping. <laughs> so 100 bucks on any order right now gets you a cap. Yep. We're going to send that to you. And you'll have it in, like, usually two or three We'll days. have matching hats. Yes, we will have matching hats. That'll be awesome. Because Jason's always got to be weird. Jason just couldn't match his shirt up right today. What? He needed to be black. It just is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. I have one more piece of business but before say, we get into this Yeah, show. jump to the other really cool um, piece we've got over there. We got the kindest letter this week from Rich Dulay. Oh, my God. It is so cool. It is, it is really cool. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I do want to read the very last paragraph to you. Guys, this is what the letter looks like. This yeah. is from Rich Dulay. He is a longtime viewer. He is a member of the SMKW Army, and he took a trip down here from Philadelphia this past uh, Fourth of July weekend to go to a family reunion. He got to spend some time in the store by himself first to do a shopping spree, which is kind of awesome, yep. which yeah. is uh, what we recommend to everybody. And then he brought the whole family back, which then he got to be, uh, you know, Uncle Rick the knife guy, the knife expert, and tell him all of what was there. <laughs> but uh, he wrote to us, and, you know, it's a long letter here. Let me finish this out. It says, I can't thank you all for the great information, enough for the great information and enthusiasm you provide that make us all better informed consumers. It also made old Uncle Rick the knife authority of the trip. I hope you know how important your posts are to the fans of sharp and pointy things that can get overwhelmed by 20,000 choices. Keep up the great work. Rich that was really sweet. Rich, I appreciate that. No appreciate doubt. Yeah, we, we want members like you all the time. Guys, if you want to write to us, send us a note here at Smoky Mountain Knife sure. Works. We will absolutely have a look at that and appreciate that. Like we say, we're not knife experts. We are yeah. enthusiasts. Enthusiasts. We love sharp and pointy things and we want to be around Bless people you. who love. Bless you again. Thanks. Are you allergic to compliments? They make her sneeze. They I'm do. allergic to you. Sneezy Dopey and Doc here at SMKW. Uh, no, but you know, guys, we appreciate you. We want to be not. around people, not you. He's not. obviously you're dopey. No, she's sneezy. <laughs> that makes me dopey, and I'm fine with it. <laughs> it made me I'm die. fine with that. I'm fine with it. <laughs> dopey. 
Uh, we, we, uh, I just noticed the choices he threw out there. Doc was the leader of that group. Sure. He was. He also works with us. He did. Oh, Doc. And I'm kind of like a dwarf, so it's fun. And actually, <laughs> I'm Snow dwarf. White if we're really going to go there. You're talking quiet again. I'm sorry. Thank you. She's Snow White. She's and Snow White. And these are two of my dwarves. Somebody get that apple so we can put her out again. I'm going to throw an apple at you. <laughs> Guys, we do enjoy that you're part of the SMKW Army. Uh, we got a Facebook group now. It's growing huge. Yes, we do. It really is growing. It's, it's close to 700 members right now, that's and that's happened just boom in the last couple of weeks. Um, yes, I have a question. Will the Smoky Knife be available online? The 75th anniversary one? Yeah. Yes. Is there a way they can get them before? Tomorrow? I mean, I mean uh, on, if, they, if they're not going to be in the showroom. Not yet. No. Not yet. We're working on it. We're working we, on we it. We want to have enough for the folks who will be here tomorrow, but we've already talked to Victorinox. We're probably going to do a second run. Yeah. Yeah, it is not hard to get um, these things from Victorinox. Yeah, so we will we will have some available for, the, for our online yeah. friends and followers. Yeah, it's a awesome. great little collectible. Yeah. Any other questions, comments so far? We got a crowded house over there? Yes. Good. <laughs> yes. Yes. I like this. She is so concentrated. She's trying to watch, and in case you guys don't know this, she is trying to watch YouTube and Facebook at the same time and all of the chats that you were doing. And she's trying to make sure that you feel welcome and click the likes. And here's how that happened. It went, oh, we can push this to two different streams. Yes, let's do it. This will be the most fun thing ever. Let's double Molina's work. That was the piece that <laughs> never came up in the conversation That's right. that we just decided to do. And, and I, I sit, and I, you guys know, if you watch the premiere, the live, the uh, taped premieres that drop on Tuesdays, <laughs> that I watch the Facebooks. I tried to do what she's doing live right now by watching both the YouTube oh, and the Facebook. I can't do it. A better person than me. Oh, most definitely. <laughs> yeah. That takes a talent that I just do I not have exactly. so I cannot she watch both woman. at the same time. She, she so is. She's most definitely. She helps us pick all these things. It's fan friggin' tastic. Oh, yeah. And we got some <coughs> cool stuff today. We do. We're gonna do the same format we've been doing for a long time now. We're gonna run through some categories of different things that are here. Uh, we will talk about each one individually, and at the end we will do a rundown and we will pick a giveaway from Just all the will. stuff that is here. If you have questions, comments, thoughts. Do not keep them to yourself. Let Melina know, and she will raise her hand and ask. Let's jump into the first one, which is the bargain of the week. Well, which is hard to believe, really. It really is. There's a lot of work on that. I cannot imagine. Hey, Jared, will you come in here and turn this camera so I don't feel like I'm reaching over across the whole table to get there? Well, Jared's coming to do that. We'll go ahead and start talking about this one. I Wait, do you hear his pack oh, bag? Yes, listen. Come this way with me. It's the loudest tramp stamp, stamp I've ever heard in my entire life. There we go. That is perfect. That's more, much more comfortable. So, <laughs> this, I can't, I cannot imagine putting this handle together. Uh, I know. And because all of that is inlay, it is basket weave, uh, black pearl, and abalone. And it looks gorgeous. Yeah, you can see it from this it side. Insane. Look at that. It's inlay. So, this is part of the exotic trapper line from Rough Rider. Uh, like Andy said, basket weave, pearl, and abalone, uh, 440A, clip <coughs> point, and spade blades on this with a, with mirror polish. Those blades are they're mm -hmm. perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, half stops, match strike pulls, basket weave, pearl, and abalone handles, striped nickel silver bolsters with mm -hmm. brass liners, uh, like you know all regular size trappers, four and four point one two five inches closed. Overall, at seven point three seven five inches, weighs a little bit over three and a half ounces. Yeah, this is just a gorgeous piece, and you'll notice this is the bargain of the week. Why, Jason? Because it's twenty bucks. It's nineteen ninety nine, guys. It is yeah. nineteen ninety nine. This knife. There's so much work in that. Um, like all Rough Riders, they're built by hand. They're backed for life. Yep. You have um, a problem with it? Give us a call. We'll make sure we get we'll it taken care of, or we'll replace it. We'll, we'll do what we need to do to back that. Knife. Yeah. Mm, Rough Rider so is Smoky pretty. Mountain Knife Works brand. It is. Yeah. And that that exotic series with the pearl, the abalone, all the detail to them, they just turned out so good. You need a I good knife. I like that. I know. That yeah, the so brass cool. inside there. Yeah. It's mm. incredible. Yeah. I'm talking about like, I don't know, just you can see. Where they're actually put together? Yeah. Can yeah. we get in close enough to see that? I don't know. So this is what Swags and I were looking at. You can see where all these pieces are put together right there on top, and it just... You can see the thickness of, of each piece. It's amazing mm -hmm. to yeah. me. 
Yeah. These Astounding. are really, really nice. I, I, I can't imagine doing that. I don't think I'd have the patience. I'm, I'm not that. I'm not that that person. Right. <laughs> right. That Can we take so just cool. a minute while we're on this live? Because I've got Melina here too. Let's talk about this for a second. Because I want to. I want to point this out. Uh, modern fold, modern or traditional slip joint knives are not like uh, your modern flippers. Sure. They do not have to be aligned in the handle. Um, for them to function properly. And in sure. fact, there are over 100 hand steps in every single Rough Rider uh, slip joint knife. So, so somebody taking their hand, grinding this, sharpening this, whatever. This, this alignment inside the channel, it is done individually for each knife to make sure that it opens and becomes open as best as it possibly can. Sure. Okay, so wow. there's a guy that sits there, or a girl, who sits there and does this all day long. They make sure this is aligned. Like when you look at a modern flipper, it needs to sit directly in the center of this channel. It's because yeah. it flips. It has to work on a pivot. Exactly. If the pivot is not balanced, it doesn't work right. Slip joints do not work that way. Now, you are gonna have some that do have a problem. They sure. are gonna touch in ways they shouldn't touch. But sitting in this channel does not really matter. Yeah. Right? It doesn't matter to the function of the knife. They're gonna get it in there so it's best when it's opened and working and being flush and all of that other cool stuff that happens with a traditional slip joint knife. So I've seen some confusion out there in the, uh, in the past few weeks about how this is supposed to look as a traditional slip joint. Stop comparing it to modern flippers because it's yes, not a modern flipper. Thing. It is not the same mm, thing. It works nowhere near differently. It. Yeah. Okay. So that's that. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's about looking at apples to apples. So if you look at that compared to any slip joint, you're going to notice over time that, that the, like Andy said, those blades sit differently to make them work the way they're supposed to work. Yeah. And that, that's, that's the thing with any slip joint knife. That right there is your Sunday knife, and it cost you $19.99. You pull that out at church, nobody's going to blink an eye. And because you've got these natural materials, they're all going to be just a little bit different. Each one of these, they're not all going to be exactly the same shading and colors. That's what mm -hmm. I like about yeah. that, those kind of things, using the natural materials, so it's, it's always so a little bit different. Oh, yeah. That's just guys on uniqueness. That is a gorgeous knife. Yep. 20 bucks from yep. Rough Rider. $20. Love Love it. stuff. That's the bargain of the week. Can you believe it? Let's talk about the Kaiser Doman. Oh, well, snap. I like this little guy. Yep. We got a problem with this little guy, though, right, Jason? Well, not really a problem. <laughs> They liked it too much yeah. from the time we picked it for the show. They're all gone is the thing. Yeah. So this is the Kaiser Mini Doman. Uh, it's a 3-inch bowler in 690 drop point with a stonewash finish. It's an 8 inch thick blade, mm -hmm. ambidextrous thumb studs, black G10 handle with liner lock, tip-up pocket clip that is also ambidextrous, and a lanyard hole. 4 inches closed, 7 inches overall, a little bit less than 3 ounces. Um, this is a perfect smaller EDC. Yes. Uh, very modern, great lines, great G10 on the handles. Um, and again, like Andy said, uh, they are thumb. currently out of stock, which we try not to do on the show. Um, but there are similar Ker Kaisers yes, there in are. this range, and we're going to do our best to get you into that same area on this. But this one is sold out right now. It, but we will have more coming in. From the time I picked it to the time it got on this show, it, it was going. And we don't pick these shows like months in advance. We're talking a matter of several days. You take such great pride in that. Oh! Ah, I fail. changed you. <laughs> no, my finger was out. But What happened the, that time? In that time. Wow. I mean, now you in are jinxing time. me. Go to the brand section. Go to Kaiser. Start digging around. They all have that same amazing action. They all have that same feel. Um, I've never picked up a Kaiser that I wasn't like immediately in love with. I know, right? They're cool. Yeah. There's one of these left. Um, this one. This one. Yeah. <laughs> we will sell it to you. Yes, that is for sure. Whoever gets to it first. What was the price point on this? Can have it. This is uh, forty-seven bucks. Yeah. That's why no, they that, sell out. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. You get that kind of action and that kind of price. Yeah. Uh huh. Appreciate it. And then you get swags. You can't open it. Oh, I want to see you do it. I'm, you, they all know <laughs> I'm going to screw it up. You made noise like a seal for a second. Miss Super Thumbs <laughs> over here <laughs> usually is flipping <laughs> thumb studs out like crazy. Hey, I yeah, meant. I just don't flip a thumb stud anymore. I just, it's just nice, gradual. You've had the cutting incident, so I don't blame you. I never cut myself on a thumb stud. I know, right? But there's the, the other reminders that you cut your leg open. <laughs> Cut, tip the finger off. Yes. 
I'm gonna be honest. I like being able to like snap it open, but oh yeah. In reality, I don't I, do that. I, really I do like gradually open it because it's. I don't know. I feel like if I flip it open, and I'm doing something. If I'm on a ladder, I flip it open trying to cut something. You're gonna fling it out of your yeah, helmet. Yeah, it's gone. I really. Bye. Whoever's holding the ladder is gonna have a knife stuck in their head. Um, be nice you say that like it's a bad thing. <laughs> or like it hadn't happened. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, I, I really, I love that little knife. It's a great EDC. Perfect, yeah, it's a perfect it, it size really EDC. Is. It really is. <laughs> Especially if you need your EDC to be like. <gasps> Ew. There you go. Ew. Like most Ew. everybody's, where it's a letter opener. Yeah, <laughs> or I've actually October. torn my nail away from my. Uh, see that? I'm bleeding, cool. y'all. I'm bleeding. I done tore my nail away. Do you need a pair of towels on? No, I'm good. All right. I'm just going to bleed out. I'm a man. Hit you. That was 100% you it when was. you cut your leg. You're like, ah, that's the guy that's that I should have Keep going. That is that's the uh, EDC. The, yeah, the Kaiser Mini Doman. Yep. Uh, EDC of the uh, something new. Something new. Week. Sorry. Um, something so like, new that it just zipped right out the gone. door. As soon as um, we put it up. We'll have more of those back in and jump on them when they come in. So, now we're in the EDC of the week. Yeah, this is the EDC of the week, and wow. It feels really good on a torn. Uh, I bet it does. You we know. may want to get swags to... Oh, do shoot. that so you don't bleed on the really expensive Microtech. Microtech. Yeah, there we go. So this is a Violet Microtech Ultratech Wait, Five. I'm making the noise uh, for it. S dash <laughs> E Auto. Um, so yeah, Microtech Ultratech S E Auto in Violet, three point three five inches of CTS. Here, let me hold it down here. Two hundred four P with a drop point blade and a satin finish. Uh, dual action out the front, auto with a slider, yep. um, violet anodized aluminum handles, ambidextrous tip down pocket clip with a glass breaker, uh, 5 inches closed, 8.35 inches overall, weighs 3.5 ounces, made in the USA. Like all of our autos, it depends on your state's legalities as to where we can ship them. But we ship to 40 of them right now. But 40 of you, 40 states, people living in 40 of those states can get one. Yeah. Yeah. I think we did decide that this this pocket clip does become ambidextrous because you can unscrew this and flip it around yeah. and then go to the other side. I One think of the nice things it, about I think that it's side done switch. made like that. Yeah, that side switch on a uh, on and out the front makes it very easy to use with either hand. I want to get this and name it Tinky Winky. Um, okay. Because I want to tell somebody, hey, could you hand me Tinky Winky? And I'll just flip it out like that. I'm like, Tinky Winky's gonna cut you. I think if I you ask me to hand you Tinky Winky, then I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave the room and go somewhere else. <laughs> it is like the greatest fidget spinner on the planet, though. I'm, I, I'm serious. Right. It and it is a completely useful, nice, pretty piece of pocket candy. Um, I always have a hard time with that. And it, I love it. Sorry. Breathe. You good? Oh, I'm good. No, for whatever no reason. That, bit. that just doesn't. Yep. Yeah, break I it in. It. Yeah. You gotta break it in. You do. You gotta straighten up that thumb a little bit. Microtechs have this gorgeous hmm. feel, and their fit and finish is, is beautiful. And they're always the same. Have you ever noticed that? There's yeah. no. When you pick one up, they always have. You, you know they're working the way they're supposed to work when you pick it up. Yeah. Good just, word. I love it. I know, right? Uniform. Yep. Uniformity. Great knife. Microtech Ultratech SE. What was the blade steel? Two uh, ST uh, CTS 204P. Oh, 204P. I only have like one issue with this. Okay. That is not violet. I, I agree with you. That is not violet. This is the my favorite color of crayon in elementary school. It it's, was magento. It's very pretty. Very, very pretty. But that is not violet. Or magenta. I said yeah. magenta. Magenta. It's, it's Saints Row Purple, if you're a video gamer. <laughs> it's what? Saints Row Purple. Saints Row Purple! <laughs> Any of you who, who dunk on that <laughs> game, <fuchsia. laughs> it's it's Saints Row Purple. It is kind of fuchsia. Yeah. yeah. But they call it violet. It's gorgeous. It, it really is. But it's nice. Yeah. Different colors in this model as well. And I think Molina will put up a link that will show you and get you here. That's the EDC of the week. How much is this? 280. 280. Made in the USA. Which again, not not bad for an out the front microtech. Now we are going to hold the SE oh. Campbellor Bolu. Bolu. This Bolu. is such a cool knife. Hard name to say. Bolu. Now, now I'm saying Bolu because that should be the way it looks like a French name to me, but I'm going to bet that Patrick Rollins drops out Bolu all the time. 
Oh, I'm sure. Baloo. Yeah. Baloo. Baloo. Yeah. Shane Adams probably does too. This is a great knife though. <laughs> uh, it's fantastic. I love the sheath, love the knife, the everything shape, about the it. The feel of this handle is amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this thing. So this, like a, like most Essies, it's a carbon steel uh, drop point, a uh, carbon steel blade, 1095. It's okay, just read slower. I'll, yeah. Sound them out. I tried to make it fancy. It did not work. <laughs> <laughs> like most Essies, is a carbon blade. Uh, this is 1095 carbon steel, three and a half inches drop point with a Scandi grind. Mm -hmm. um, 4.6 inch <laughs> micarta handle with a lanyard hole, 8.1 inches overall, weighs six ounces, made in the USA, has that nice deep carry leather sheath. Uh huh. Um, well, there is nothing wrong with that knife. We didn't take I, this one off Jared's jorts the other day. Did you see him wearing it around with that? Tried to oh, run off he? with him. He did. He had it in this sheath hanging on the side of his jorts. That's hysterical. Uh huh. Tell him you Jared. gotta watch him. Yep. You got to watch him. He's a sneaky one. He is. Ninety degree spine on this too, so you can yeah. light a fire with that. Pretty darn easy. It's nice. I like it. It's an Essie. Come on. A lifetime, no questions asked yep. warranty. You send a piece of back that you send a piece of back that I don't know what to say. <laughs> I turned Italian here for a second. You send a piece that is identifiable back of this knife. They're going to replace it for you. Yeah. Yep. I like the sheath too. You know, it's funny you say that because I'm sitting here thinking actually almost every bit of this is identifiable as Essie. Yes. Oh yeah. Essie is for just sure. these have a very distinct brand. Yes. And what they're making is no nonsense, no. straightforward, no. Uh, bushcraft. Uh, oh, yeah. Camping, well, hunting, mm -hmm. knives. And in most cases, they have had a class, they've had a situation where they said, you know what, this That's calls exactly what, for how, something different. Every one of them was developed. Every so, knife they sell is developed that way. At some point, there was a situation that really called for this size, this, size, this shape, well, this weight words. knife. And they said, okay, we're going to make this so and we're going to call it the Bellu. No, I'm saying we're all having we're trouble all talking having today. Talking. There's something fine. in the air. I love the grind new words. That. Yeah, you better knock on some wood. God, flip this around where they can see the grind a little bit on that. That's the grind. Really, really. It's pretty. Yeah. I, I love, love it. it. I love it. Jeez. I love it. Give me a blackberry lemonade. That's right. <laughs> if you can get them, they keep running out of them because Annie and I buy them all at the same store. Right. That's right. Which one you? Which store y'all going to? I need to go to a different one. South Knox Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> what, maybe we shouldn't have said that. Nah, it's fine. Made by Rowan, you got the Rowan stamp on the back of those. All yep. made in the USA. Made in the USA. It's a great knife. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. I really like it. I really like it a lot. I love, like, the way it feels in your hand. Yeah. That's yeah. one thing about all of their it's handles. Great. I always love their handles. Yep. It's not like you have to find an area for it to fit because it's just... It I tells you where it's supposed to be. It does. Yeah. But also, it's kind of versatile. You can, you know, change it oh, up for a sure. little bit. It's also fat enough that it helps you with hand fatigue. It does. So instead of you gripping tight down around something slim and skinny for a long time, you've got something nice and beefy in your hand uh, to stop hand fatigue. Purpose-driven knife. Yes. Purpose -driven for sure, for sure. Yeah, no, that's great. Price point? 109. 109 really? for the SE yeah. Bowl I dig it. That's the fixed blade of the week right there, by yes. goodness. Essie's always kind of in that same price range. You can kind of, you know, when you're looking at Essie, you kind of know what that price is going to be, yeah. and that's, it's not going to break the bank, and it's a, it's a good, just a, a good price range for, for most folks for a, a good camp knife, survival knife, hiking knife, whatever it's going to mm -hmm. be. Bushcrafting. Yeah. Pocket candy traditional. Wow. Ooh. Tribal lock. Party. I love that tribal lock. Uh-huh. I really, really do. It is a su surprisingly big knife it is. that comes in a small handle package. So it's a four and an eighth, just like a trap, mm -hmm. when it's closed. It opens up to how big? Uh, it opens up to, we don't have the overall. I thought it was like seven, or almost eight inches. Uh, yeah, I think so. It's almost eight inches long, fully open. Right here. That's eight inches. So you're looking at 7.75. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, seven and three quarters, maybe a little more. Nice. Look at that handle. Yeah. Oh, it's gorgeous. That it's is beautiful. So pretty. This is a case knife right here, y'all. Oh, of course it is. This is a brown saw cut jig bone tribal lock from uh -huh. Case. Uh, three and an eighth inch chrome vanadium. Vanadium. <laughs> I did time. the same thing. Vanadium too. spear point, uh, brown saw cut <laughs> jig bone handles, brass pins and liners, nickel silver bolsters, and the Case XX oval shield on the side has a pocket clip. 
uh, four and an eighth closed, made in the USA by Case. Um, this is one of those patterns you don't see everybody carry. Right. Also, I want to point out, guys, if you don't want your pocket clip on here, you can take those screws right yeah. out, and it comes right off the knife. I like it. I like the pocket clip. I think it makes it a good work knife. I do, too, yeah. The I lock back on this thing makes it a good work knife. The whole deal makes this a good work knife. I tell I you, I, I like the fact with... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was just saying, I wish I had a pocket clip on my uh, my one blade, the, uh, you know, the blue stripe case yeah. that I have. I wish I had a pocket oh, clip yeah. on that. That'd be great. And it, but a lot of folks are, you know, oh, I, I don't want a pocket clip in my traditional I'll case. Well, I think with all their pocket clips, have made them easy to remove. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't take away from the look or the feel of the knife. No. And if you just want to drop it in your pocket, you can at that point. Right. That's nice. I like this. Yeah. I like how it feels in your hand as you use it, the whole bit. That's one of my oh, favorite patterns. I, I love the way it looks. Uh, pretty brass liners on the inside. Pretty brass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Again, there are a lot of hand steps that go into every single knife. This one, of course, is made in the USA. Bradford, Pennsylvania. That is nice. Just a, yeah, just a great knife. And it's a lockback, so. I have nice been and, digging lockbacks more often now. Yeah. They're nice and strong. There's something very no nonsense about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can feel that thing click open, too. Yep. Yeah. The walk and talk is really nice. Uh huh. Yeah. That's nice. Yep. Great knife, and it's. Uh, 66 bucks. 66 bucks. Busk. 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 I'm telling you, Busk. we all just need to restart the day, don't we? My mouth is not working properly. $66 for that case, and again, it is it is very, very much the pocket candy. Yeah, also go on smkw.com and type in tribal lock. There's a yeah. bunch of different versions of this knife. Yep. Tribal lock. Modern, or pocket candy. Traditional. Traditional. Going right to pocket candy modern. I tell you, there's something with that tribal lock that. Let me you... tell y'all. I know what you're gonna say. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh. Can't get it closed. It wants to be back open. Get it right there. It wants to be back open. So this is the pocket candy modern. Love it. This is the first time we've had a best tech on the show. It is best I tech. I really like it. Swordfish folder. It looks like a swordfish. It does look like a swordfish. I I have not seen a best deck yet that I wasn't just wanting to play with and and you know she says this about a lot of things. I know. I do. But can you blame them? No. I, but I'm a I'm a. I want to touch everything. I do. I'm a I'm a very tactile I'm individual. Person. We're the people you don't take to a museum. No, definitely not. Ooh, dinosaur <laughs> bones. I'm gonna touch those too. I'm terrible about that. <laughs> I really am. So this is the best deck swordfish, 3.875 inches of D2 drop point. Uh, of D2 steel with a drop point blade and a satin finish, uh, manual flipper, black and green G10 handle with a liner lock, stainless steel liners, lanyard hole, tip up pocket clip, five inches closed, almost nine inches overall, weighs just about five ounces. Mm -hmm. uh, that green and black G10 really work. The whole thing just looks gorgeous. Yeah. I yeah. don't know why, but I'm really thinking about like Deadpool and Green Lantern because like you got Green Lantern like right here, but this is Deadpool. There you go. You're <laughs> all about this Deadpool and Green Lantern. Lantern on this show. I don't like Green Lantern. I like Deadpool, but I just think it's funny like Ryan Reynolds hates Green Lantern so much. I just think it's a gorgeous knife. Yeah, I, it really I think is. they had some real choices they could make of how to put that green and sure. black G10 together. Oh, I really and like And they did it, a great though. job of locking them in, but also giving it a gorgeous looking design. Yeah. You look. The lines are almost perfectly, and you put. can't feel it. No, yeah. you can't feel it, but you can even see like the stripes, like where it's. Yeah, yeah, laid. we can see it. They can. Okay, I don't know. I'm showing you guys, so then you can show them here <laughs> with your sassy <laughs> self. She's saying that this is smooth. Yeah, all the way across, and, yes, and they've carried is. that grain over from. And you yes, can see from that's what one I was piece saying. of G10 to the other. Yes, he gets it. He gets it. You're sassy. I am sassy, Mr. Anthony. I am salty. It's Adam to you. <laughs> Adam ruins everything. Have you seen that? Yes, I have. <laughs> the action on these best techs is incredible. It is uh, ball bearings. So, kaboom. Yeah. The the killer part of this is the price tag. $52. That's ridiculous. Yep, 52 bucks. You've got good D2 still in this. It's going to last forever. Mm -hmm. um, and again, that knife feels great. And it also... For being a big beefy EDC, it doesn't weigh that much. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a little bit over five ounces, but I, to be honest, it doesn't count. Even really, you'd think it weigh more. You would. 
So uh, let me ask these people out here, looking at this blade shape, do you think this knife speaks to me or not? Yeah. <laughs> does Andy I... want this knife? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, he does. I like that, that style blade. If it had a little bit more of an upsweep, I'd like it even more. I like oh, how sure. he says this, and his wife's right over there is like, <coughs> <laughs> she She's not knife. buying me a knife. No. no. She she's buying, not, she's but it, was, it was worth exactly. a try. Well, let's, let's say that just for a second. We are both like, I'm looking at this. I'm looking at that. I think I'd like to have this one. We are not looking for knives for each other. Uh, <laughs> there might be other things we buy each other, but knives? No, that's personal. We're going to get that's our own personal. stuff. We're going to get that. 23 years of marriage? Yeah. We gonna get our own knives. <laughs> Notice hilarious. where Laura looks at me and goes, "What did you buy this week?" Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Why is there a blank space in the checkbook accounting register? Why do you need that? <laughs> Why need not? This. Oh. Whew. Oh yeah. I need this. I this uh, is the premium. And we're not going to talk about it because I'm putting this in my pocket. <laughs> we are. <laughs> Somebody call the police. Police. Mm -hmm. So. Knock knock knock. Police here. Good lord. Look at that. It's the action, too. Oh, I'm just barely. Yes. Jerry I'm Davis. Ba I'm just, yes. <laughs> I like the shape of the blade. I like the shape of the handle. I like the action. Oh, that's the first time it didn't go. That's oh. just barely pushing it. So this is the Wee Knife Company. Hey, Jared, Nine. come back this out so I don't have to tilt it sideways. Hop in here. <laughs> Hop in here. <laughs> Pull up your George while you're in here. Oh, that's so much better. That. I got enough room to do it. You're the man. Did you see how long that thumb was? <laughs> well, he had it enhanced. He did. Oh my he did. Thumb enhancement he surgery. Thumb enhancement. I mean, you, you can't believe it. He his gets a thumb is, all the way up. His thumb is twice as long. Oh, my God. He had cadaver bones put in. <laughs> cadaver <No>. bones. <laughs> <laughs> it was completely experimental. It makes a noise like, and it was like <laughs> well, He took some, some KBT ball bearings out of one of the knives <laughs> and had them added in for that second jo set of joints. That's right. It's amazing. Yeah. I've never seen a thumb bend like an S. <laughs> <laughs> but with video games, he's faster now than he used to be. That's good. That's what it's all about. He gets double action off those thumbs. <laughs> Let's hit this 910 so, 37. Yeah, this is right. the 910 a 37 from Wee Knife Company, uh, um, uh, 3.95 inches, so almost four inches of Bowler M390 steel. Drop point blade, um, it's a .14 inch blade thickness on this with a manual flipper. Mm -hmm. Ceramic ball bearings, which is why you've got that terrific smooth action on this knife. Mm -hmm. uh, bronze titanium handle with a frame lock. Titanium hardware, including the pocket clip, five inches closed, nine inches overall, weighs four ounces. Yeah. So I want to point out no. something that I don't think a lot of people would notice straight away. So do you see any other hardware besides the pivot on the front of this knife? Not a thing. Is it laying over top of hardware? No. It is not. It is not at all because there's where it's joined together. Yeah. This titanium frame is joined together on the top at these joints where you would normally have like a backspacer or whatever. Yep. It is joined together there so you get clean handles. The only hardware, the other hardware that you have right here is holding in the steel insert inside the titanium sure. frame lock. Titanium pocket clip, titanium pivot, all of it, titanium. Ridiculous. And flipping back over, even they're using titanium, which is extremely light anyway, we also went in and took out this huge divot. Oh yeah, yeah, for your pocket clip. I should have said that and enunciated the we more. We. Took out. <laughs> we didn't do it. We didn't do it. We took out this gigantic divot of titanium to make yeah. this pocket clip sit flush almost. So, and also, if you look in the inside of this, and I know it's going to be really, really hard. I'm going to try to tilt it to hit the light just right. You can see it as it goes by. Look, it's skeletonized inside there. They have yeah. carved out the inner portions of that. It's actually more easy to see on this side. See it as it goes by. There it is. There's some amazing technology in that knife. And then you get this ceramic ball bearing action. Yep. Like that. It is beautiful. M390. And a really cool looking blade. M390, you're never going to sharp with that unless you're just beating the tar out of it and have no, to realign yeah, yeah. it. M390, I had that Re8 that was M390 and I have not sharpened it since I got it. It is no. still razor yeah. sharp out of the box. And it's not like you just keep that one and never use it. You carry no, that. No, I've, I've carried that one. Yeah. I like it. It is, it is, uh, Many Amazon boxes have met the end. 
that have met the end. Have met Die! The end. <laughs> like, what does that, that mean? What company? Anything. What company? The, the boxes? No, I don't. I don't know about them. What are they? <laughs> Never heard of them. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That knife weighs absolutely <laughs> nothing. It is so stinking light. It's almost rising out of your hand. I'm serious. <laughs> I like it that. You have an area to put your finger. Yep. I like that. You I do? dig that. How's that again? That's just nice. as a is a it's a fully functional knife. Those I trans love the, like. I'm ignoring both of you. <laughs> I love the blade. I, there is this you is really perfect. Should. This is just a perfect knife. Looks I'm like serious. He was rising up. Yes. His weighed nothing. And now rise. This is the helium knife. <laughs> it's 280 bucks. 280 bucks. Ooh. It's a premium. That's why it's our premium pick of the week. The Wii. But there's a lot of Nine, ten, in that. A lot oh, of tech yeah. in that. Yes. And yes. A lot yes, of technology yes. and a lot of design work. This is the point in the show where I ask the question. Do you have any questions, comments, concerns, thoughts? Yes, there was a question last week that I did not put through because I was busy with something else. Okay. Cake or pie? Oh, pie. Ooh. Cake. It's all hard. The way. It depends. No, pie. Cake. Totally depends. Pie. No. For a birthday, pie with candles. No. No, pie. Cake. Okay, I'm question. Yeah. It is like cheesecake, is that pie or is that cheesecake cake? Cheesecake is just cheesecake. Yeah, okay, but it's isn't, isn't key lime pie like right there with cheesecake? With yeah, that's cheesecake? No. Key lime pie is a pie. It's pie. Oh, God. That's why it's the but best. But angel food cake is like my stuff, so I'm going to go with cake. I don't even pretend anymore. I go and just get the birthday cake at the store because I like white cake, white icing, buttercream icing, and I love it. If you have some vanilla ice cream to go with that, it's just amazing. Wedding Thanks. cake, my favorite thing. Okay, maybe I'm going to need to go over to Flavortown over here. Um, pie. No. That's where uh, we're going now. I don't need that fruit in my life. I don't it's need like that vegetables. Fruit in my life. Oh, pie. I don't want it. Key lime. Meat and cake. God, key lime, <laughs> key lime pie, pie is so good. Boston cream pie made from I fresh like Boston. Boston. Don't get me wrong, but I, I want cake. I love chocolate cake. Chocolate silk. Like the chocolate French silk, chocolate silk. Yes. Oh my God. Coconut cream pie. Oh, you know what? <laughs> pie, we're talking pie, about pie, pies pie. like that. <laughs> hey, That's Bubba, different. settle down. That's different from like fruit pie. Bubba go. Pie. Pie. Cake. Definitely cake. I we want to know what now. you want to know. Yes. What Unless else we got? What other questions? What are you carrying? What are we carrying? Let's part pie. I'm going to go last. You're going to go okay. last? Oh. Mm -hmm. And that was a follow-up from Tobias. What do you wish you were carrying? Oh, what do I Ooh. wish I was carrying? Okay. What are you carrying and what do you wish you were carrying? <laughs> right now, that. <laughs> you may go first. Okay. She's going to go last. So, uh. Open now. Always. Mm -hmm. And this is a repeat. Ooh. But it's had an addition. So this is my copper shark yes. from Artisan. And, he and you wants show off the newness -ness -ness. Look at that. Yeah. That's yeah. So First cool. of all, notice the patina and how awesome it's getting at yes. this point. It's getting ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> I love but it. then. Right there is a Calico Jack Rackham flag. <laughs> historic Calico pirate, Jack yes, Historic pirate flag that we etched downstairs. Nice. On the new laser etcher. Yes, indeed. Laser engraver. Ooh. Sean did it. He did a great job. Um, we are actually currently etching stuff for customers in the store. Nice. Um, we can and do just about yeah. anything you Tell bring in. Tell how long it took. It took like three minutes. Three minutes. It's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Two passes, three minutes. Two passes. And if you notice, the patina is being total, behaving totally different inside the engraving. When they first did this, that edge looked pink. Yeah. That's Almost. so crazy. Yeah. So let me and ask this you this. Is, did this you was have done to make last a, Friday, so we're looking at right at a week. Did you have to make a choice, a, 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 an actual choice of whether you wanted this other way around or this way around? I did, did yeah. Yeah. Because I always, it always freaks me out that it feels like it's upside down while you're using it. It does. But it is right side up if it's closed. Yeah. Which is the most bizarre thing with knives. And that's so you had to make an actual choice. That's an edge on copper. That's awesome. Um, I think they've done everything now except for G10. Nice. And they're dialing the settings for the G10. Right. Nice. The, the etching machine is, is uh, laser engravers doing great. So that's what Jason's got in his yeah. pocket. Um, Does everyone needs one of these in their <laughs> life. This They're is what, my nine ninety nine, eleven ninety nine. Yeah, this is like my that? daily use right now. It, oh, it it cuts open and has at least two peaches a day, <laughs> minimum. 
and then what, usually whatever else I find to cut. So, um, you're gonna go last? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, well I'll go next. I bought a knife oh, this week. Oh, you don't week. say. What? I bought a knife this week, Shocking. so I actually decided that I needed to carry two knives, and um, I went on a little walk down memory lane because I wanted to see if I could find something else that was special. Um, if you don't know, I've been designing here for like 15 to 18 years, and I usually keep one of everything that I design. So I have like these racks of shelves of things I've designed and things I've collected and things I've bought, and I just went through it yesterday, all of it, and I realized that I have the very first knife that I ever bought at Smokey. And I remember going really to Tony cool. Watkins, some of you might remember Tony Watkins, and saying, Tony, if I get a first knife to add to my collection, what should it be? And he walked out there and we looked at the case counter and I got this bad boy right so here. So pretty. This is a case uh, classic Lord. pattern. It is a trapper, a bulldog brand trapper. I gotta show you the blades on this thing. Just look at that handle, that's insane. It's crazy. Look at that. That is genuine stag. You cannot get stag like that anymore. Look how thick it no. is. It is a 5223 pattern. Uh, this thing is just gorgeous all the way around. The walk and the talk is insane. I'm pretty sure I paid like right around $65, $75 at the time in 1998. I looked this up last night and did not realize that Tony steered me perfectly right on this knife because this knife, guys, was made in 1992. Only 250 of them were made, wow. and they're selling right now out there for $325. That's awesome. But That's, you're not selling it. I am not selling it. I was no. about to say. And in fact, it probably won't stay in my pocket more than a couple of days. It will get cleaned up and go back in its safekeeping spot. Dude. And then, what, 10 years from now, I can remember I have it again. <laughs> Open that, that up and close it next to one of the mics. Listen, listen to there's the There's coming open. Now this knife is, hang on, how old is this knife now? It was made in 1992. Oh. Yeah, and both blades are just the same. You can hear it. The walk and talk is incredible. Knife's older than you. I know. <laughs> and he got it when I was a year old, maybe. So that's my my first purchase at Smoky Mountain Knife oh. Works ever. And then I got this this week. We've seen this one. And the show. his latest. It's purchase. the LRF. It's the Boker LRF. Oh. Um, it's the um, Kansei. K A N S E I. That is it right there. I um, adore. That knife. I this really one's like right up too. my alley, and the yeah. uh, action on it is quite amazing. Oh, oh it's very seldom seen. No, no, you need to come pocket you need to come dump hang, from You need to come Molina. hand those up from there. Here, I'll let you do it. <laughs> we'll we'll, we'll do that, the Molina hand. <laughs> Ta -ta <-dee. laughs> Molina has the Pipe Doctor from Rough Rider in her pocket. Yes. There is that right there. Uh, this thing's kind of cool if you smoke I love a pipe. It's that got knife. a special rounded blade right there that goes into a pipe, really easy to clean it out. Uh, and then it has a reamer. That's so cool. As well as, well as that fancy pipe shield. Love yeah. it. Tobacco bone That's on the so handle. That's so cute. That's great. Mm -hmm. And then oh. she has her Jimmy Slash special. It is, right. I don't remember, it's a griptilian, right? Yeah. A mini grip? It's a mini grip. And it's got the blue liner. Yeah. Blue and gray. Nice. That's so gorgeous. Cool. Nice, nice, nice. That was a gift given to her at Blade Show from good old Josh Belay. So cool. Jimmy Slash. Watch his channel on YouTube. It's awesome. It's Love hilarious. Jimmy Slash. Yup, yup, yup. That's Melina's carry. What you got? Okay. We got a few things. She has been teasing this all day, by the way. So, you know, we got a Kershaw. Heck yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Got this yesterday. Kind of oh, did you get the two logic? I, you had I to get did. it. I did. I did. I actually have one more thing. Oh yeah. I have your open nose, big brother. What? Holy cow! <laughs> Holy Lord, woman. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Captain Hook in the middle that of the table amazing. here. Amazing. I know, right? <laughs> that is a pruner. It's an old gonna, bear. It is. I'm gonna go home and I'm going to uh, wood burn the handles. <sighs> okay, nice. you got to bring it back. I will. That is a true, that is a traditional pruning knife, guys. Isn't that, that is That is so yeah. groovy. No, that is awesome. <laughs> that is really, really good cool. stuff. And look how that wraps back into the handle. That's that's really nice. Ridiculous. That is such a good it is knife. ridiculous. Talk about a hand fruit knife. And the crazy that's part exactly was right. these old bears aren't even that expensive. No, you no. cut that off the, it was yeah, like 1990. Off the tree like 17. 17, nice. Ridiculous. Yeah. I was like, yes. Awesome. That is awesome. I better see this on your Instagram channel soon. I can't wait to see what you do with it when you when you when you take the hand. I'm really excited. That's so That's neat. nice. Locks locks there. Yeah, yeah, traditional printer. You grab a branch and prune. Yep. Yeah. 
Nice. Nice, nice. Good job. Very cool. Thanks, man. Any other questions, comments, concerns? That they're still going, what? <laughs> I know, right? What? <laughs> <laughs> that she pulled it out of her bra? Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's it was half in her pit. Gonna, I, I'm just going to say it was, was very warm to the touch. <laughs> <laughs> it really was. I've been it's saving so it. Neat. I had to make sure no one could see it. You know what I'm saying? It was supposed to be a surprise. Nice. Great job. Surprise. I know, right? <laughs> Lupo. Lupo. Lupo the dog. <laughs> He's a German Shepherd. German Shepherd. Yes, yeah. Shepherd. German he is Shepherd. fast. Hey, Lupo, come over here. That's, That's awesome. Water. That's awesome. <laughs> awesome. I'm happy with my purchases. Don't tell. Any other questions? Nothing. She just shakes us off. Well, like there. That. Well, she. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what I love about this show, though, and the and the folks that hang out with us, is it doesn't have to be a two hundred eighty dollar knife for people to go. No. Wow. no. Sometimes it can be a twenty dollar pruner. That everybody goes, okay, Whoa. that's the coolest thing I've seen today. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> and that might be the coolest thing I've seen today. And that's what's happening in our Facebook group all the time. We have some guys in there that have like the most amazing sure. high end custom. Which is awesome. Yes. It is awesome. Yes. And that same guy is over there in the next thread going, what is that? That is awesome. Yes. What is that? <laughs> and it's like a $19 ma- uh, MTech. Look at the range <laughs> on the table right now. From Rough Rider to Microtech to Best Tech to Wii. Uh, got Essie here in the middle. And, and just, I love it. You know, $20 to 280 Yeah. And quite frankly, I wouldn't turn down a single one of them. I think they're all really, really cool. Let's do the rundown so everybody yeah, remembers what was there. So the uh, bargain of the week is actually a $19.99 Rough Rider. It is the exotic trapper. It has the 440A stainless steel blades with the match strike pulls. This thing has... The big showstopper right here, guys. It is the basket weave on the handle. Yeah. That is black pearl and abalone. It is literally inlay that looks like backs basket weave. This is just a beautiful everyday carry. Nineteen ninety nine on that bad boy from Rough Rider right there. Built by hand, back for life. Always. Yes. Always, always, always. Uh, Kaiser Doman. Come on, you can do it. <sighs> you want me to do it for I real? I know you it's, can. It's, this is what I split my thumb on. You can do it. There we go. Ooh. This little Doman right here, uh, it was what, a CPM 154? What was it? S30? Uh, no, Bowler uh, N690. N690, yes. Bowler N690 on this with a stonewashed finish. G10 handles over steel. It's a liner lock. It's got the tip up uh, reversible or actually ambidextrous pocket clip. Uh, price tag on this one was like, I want to say it was 42 or something. 47. 47. 47 on that Kaiser right there. Uh, we don't have any in stock right now. We will get them back in stock at some point. Uh, but go in the Kaiser section and check these out on smkw.com. There are lots of really good stuff in this price range from For Kaiser. Sure. Oh, yeah. Microtech. This is the uh, EDC. Microtech Ultratech SE Auto. This is the violet edition of this. This is an out-the-front dual-action auto. So this thumb slider right here makes it do this and this, which is, like, way fun to do. <laughs> this is the one that is the CTS 204. 204. I was up 104 in my brain. 204P <laughs> yeah. on the blade. It's a dual finish, satin and stone wash. You can see it right up there. Uh, it is an aluminum handle on this thing with the glass breaker that houses the re- ambidextrous tip down pocket clip. Most of your out the front autos are tipped down just for your own safety. So that's there like that. This thing is a Microtech, guys. Made in the USA. I don't remember the price tag. I think it's like 220. 280. 280. I was giving you a $60 discount, and I just can't do that. <laughs> I wish. Lots of colors in this. Go on the site and yeah. look at Microtech Ultratech SE. You'll find them all. <coughs> or I would bet that there is a link there. Fixed blade of the week. It is the SE Cambler Bolu. 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 Hey, Bolu. This Bolu. thing, guys, this is a fixed blade 1095 mm. carbon steel blade with the black oxide finish and a Scandi grind. 90 degree spine on that bad boy right there. Natural Ooh. canvas micarta handles. Triple rivets. It ain't coming off unless you want to take it off. Take no. Lanyard hold on this thing. Full tank construction. This one was 106. Yeah, uh, 109. 109. I went dyslexic in my brain there for half a second. Flip the 6 to a 9. Or flip the <laughs> 9 to a 6. Something we didn't point out when we looked at this first time. Look at the finish past the grind. It's got that hand forged rustic finish that's so popular right now. Yeah, it's their black oxide that's on like the JG5 and that stuff. Yeah. That one's even a little bit more worn looking though. Feels like it because you're seeing it. a really shiny Scandi. Yeah, maybe right what there. it is, yeah. I'm seeing that. I just love it. Sorry, I didn't mean to, Woo! to interrupt. No, it's the, fine. The Scandinavian style sheath too. Grab this up. ain't going anywhere once you stick yeah. it down in here it's and great. put it on your belt. Oh yeah. That's a great camp knife. 109 from Essie. 
lifetime, no questions asked warranty on that thing. Use it, use it, abuse it, post it with hashtag SE Army. No kidding, right? They'll oh, repost yeah. it because they're kind of awesome. Yes, they will. Pocket Candy Traditional is a uh, saw cut brown jigged bone tribal lock. Ooh. I think I got it. I think you did too. That is true sharp, true sharp, no, chrome vanadium steel on this yep. bad boy right here. It has a lock on the back. It has a pocket clip there, brass liners, nickel silver bolsters, and the case oval shield, case mm -hmm. XX oval shield. Love this thing right here. It was 60 something. I don't remember exactly, but it was 60 something. Uh, 52, no, 66. 66. Sorry, well, I was the wrong one. Double sixes yeah. right there. Uh, from case, look up tribal lock. These are great knives. These are great everyday carries. You can lock it in your pocket with that pocket clip. Really nice to have that right there. Pocket Candy Modern Best Tech Swordfish. Oh, yeah. This one right here is D2. I was thinking about it. I'm all in the CTs today. This uh -huh. is D2. You now I remember this. It's got a satin finish. It's like 3.5 inches long on that blade. It's dual toned G10 handles. That is actually two pieces put together. Fantastic. Steel liners on this thing. It's a liner lock. It is just a tip up pocket clip. It is not ambidextrous. But. It's 52 bucks for this ball bearing action right there. So good. I touched it and it came out just barely. Did you so see that? Good, I just yeah. tried to grip the knife and it was out. It's this so is good. a great everyday carry, yeah. full size. Great blade mm -hmm. shape on this with some excellent swedging. Love this thing, 52 bucks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the 910A 037 from Wii has that oh. great ceramic ball bearing action. It is a Buller M390 steel blade yeah, on this bad boy. <laughs> this is titanium so bad. <laughs> on the handle. It's bronze anodized titanium. This is connected up here at the top with titanium hardware. It is a frame lock with a steel locking insert. The pivot, the pocket clip, even those two little screws right there, they're all titanium. Yeah. They are fantastic. This thing is $280. Yes? Yes. $280. Sorry, I got distracted looking at the wonderful <laughs> of that it's knife. It's just beautiful. $280 on that Wii. Love this knife. It weighs less than air. It does. It rises up in your hand. It just goes. <laughs> nice. I adore that knife. That's a great knife. $280. That is the premium pick of the week. Yes, indeed it is. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's a good trade. Honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. As much as you I like it, I'd, yeah, no, I was going to say, you'd miss your hand for knife. I would. I'd have to go get another one. Sparks, give me it. That's right. Uh, give me mine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think what to give away. <laughs> you know what? Screw them. Here we go. We're giving away the travel lock. That's what was in my Hadn't head. Hadn't given away a case in a good long while. We're going to yes. do it. And I'm going to write to Mari Ford and I say, Mari, you owe us a travel lock because we gave it away. There you go. That's what I'm going to do. Mari, I'm going to call you. And he's going to be fine with it. I'm going to be like, Mari, give us a travel lock. We're giving it away. We're plugging case. We're doing this yes, whole indeed. thing. And, and, and Ed Jessup will be like, Mari, give that man a travel lock. So that's what we're going to do. Um, what should we write down? You have to do ha two hashtags. Okay. Hashtag case XX. Yes. And hashtag SMKW Army. Nice. Hashtag Case XX, hashtag SMKW Army. That'll get you entered to win this. Do it on YouTube, do it on Facebook. Yes, we indeed. will pick from amongst all of them. I think we should name it Mari. Name it Mari? That's fine yeah. with me. I think it's yes. awesome. Tell Facebook, my, my Wi Fi went out. Oh, Facebook, her Wi Fi went out. She <laughs> kept on as long as she could. Sorry. <laughs> She's over here clubbing baby seals, trying to get it back on. You and the baby seals. I right, just go Dennis Leary yeah. every, every time. time. Yeah. Every, yeah. every yeah. time. I'll play you a song by Dennis Leary, yes. and then you will know it for Don't the whole think I rest of you, know, you need to hear it. Yeah, it's, it's a good. great song, it's fun. Um, Make sure you're tuning in for these guys. Oh, yeah. Like, share, and subscribe to these videos. Follow us on YouTube. Tell all your friends about us. We do this every week, twice a week. We do a premiere on Tuesdays. We do the live on, on uh, Thursdays around noon. Sometimes we switch that up. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter. We got giveaways galore. National Knife Day is coming. Don't miss it. August 24th, Saturday. We'll be on all day long with over five grand worth of giveaways and specials and fun stuff. And just, you won't believe there's more than we can talk about right now, but it will be there. I'm going to end this wonderful mouth noise thing that's happening at the other end of the table. We got Jared in the back. Melina has been online with you typing. That is Jason, Mr. Mouth Noise right I'm Dora. there. This is Dora the Explorer, AKA Swags, AKA Nathan. Precious. 
I am Adam, also known as Andy. You've watched another exciting episode of Guys Talk Knives Live. Guys Bye. Talk Knives Live. We'll see you next time. Yeah.